It's great to hear Tyreek Hill trying to turn it into a positive, but what would be the latest, Mike Florio? Well, the support that Tyreek Hill referred to included Calais Campbell, a former Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year. He said after the game he went over to de-escalate the situation. He was handcuffed and cited for disobeying a police officer's order. As to Tyreek Hill, Miami-Dade Police Department Internal Affairs Division has begun an investigation. Agent Drew Rosenhaus told me after the game that the Internal Affairs has reached out to Tyreek Hill to speak to him. Lawyers are considering all options, including possible litigation, and one officer has already been placed on what they are calling administrative duties. Maria. Joe Mixon had a chance to speak with Mike Florio on his big day. Yeah, it's year number eight for Joe Mixon. I said, you're a little bit too old for having 33 touches and 159 total rushing yards. He said, I'm just reaching my prime. Now, he'd been traded by the Bengals to the Texans after the Bengals were actually going to release him in the offseason. I asked him, would you like to play the Bengals this year? They're not on the schedule. He said, no, I don't. I just want to leave them where they're at, just like where they left me. Mike Florio had a chance to catch up with them after the game. Well, he told me that there were so many Steelers fans at that game today that the Falcons had to switch to a silent count early, and he said that is a huge advantage for a defense. Here's another advantage, film study. T.J. Watt said he found what he called a golden nugget studying film that gave him perfect timing to get a sack, to force a fumble. The problem was it was too perfect. He was called for offside, and he wasn't happy about it. He said the official told him at halftime he might have made a mistake on that one. And one last thing. At this point in his career, T.J. Watt said he's only motivated by winning, not individual awards, not the fact that he fell to number 30 in the 2017 draft. And he told me, Coach Garrett, when the phone rang and the Steelers picked him seven years ago, he thought it was you. We should have taken him, Florio. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.